Good evening to all. EE eight zero one seven HVDC transmission that is high voltage direct current transmission. It is a subject given for eighth semester triple E students under Anna University Regulation two thousand seventeen. Dear students, in this video lecture we are going to know unit wise important questions for slow learners. It covers both part B and part C. This unit wise important questions are prepared with the help of previous Anna University question papers. They are November December two thousand twenty two, April May two thousand twenty two and twenty one. Unit one is introduction. These are identified as important questions. They are compare the HVDC transmission and the HVAC transmission with reference to the following factors: economics, technical performance, reliability. Second question: Explain the types of HVDC links and its purpose with neat diagrams. Third one: Enumerate the modern trends in the HVDC technology. Fourth one: Explain the planning of HVDC transmission system. Last one: Explain the HVDC transmission based on VSI. Then unit two: Unit two is analysis of HVDC converters. First one: Explain how SCRs are connected in series and parallel arrangements. For a desired voltage and current, how is triggering of SCRs achieved? Second one, it is a six mark question, uh, taken from split up six plus seven like this. Second one, discuss the list of dominant harmonics present in the various types of HVDC converters. Third one, discuss series parallel multi-terminal HVDC system and its control. Fourth one, explain the working of pulse pulse converter in detail. Fifth one. Discuss the converter bridge characteristics with suitable schematics. Last one, explain about six pulse great circuit. Here, question number two, three, and five are six and seven mark questions. Remaining are big questions, individual big questions, either thirteen or fifteen. Unit three is converter and HVDC system control. Question number one, explain how would you proceed to construct. The universal diagram of an HVDC converter illustrate how complete characteristics of converters as rectifier or inverter can be obtained from it. Second one, explain the equidistant pulse firing scheme with their variations within its sketch. Third one, for a two-terminal DC link, explain the complete control characteristics of rectifier and inverter stations. Fourth one, define the terms transmissibility and short circuit ratio as applied to transmission lines. Discuss the effect of these factors and the performance of your link. Fifth one, explain about current and extinction angle control. Sixth one, discuss the principle of high level controllers. Seventh one, provide the detailed analysis of VSC topologies and their firing schemes. Last one, explain the starting and stopping operation of DC link. Dear students, in this eight, question number three, four, five, six are. Only eight mark, seven mark, and five mark questions remaining are full of thirteen or fifteen. Unit four is reactive power and harmonics control. First to five and seventh question are not full of thirteen marks. They are split up questions. First one: How are the power transfer capabilities of AC lines improved by using parallel HVDC VSC system? That is using DC cable transmission. Second one, explain briefly how voltage control and reactive power control can be achieved using TCSC and TCR. State the various sources of harmonics generation in HVDC VSC systems and mention the adverse effects caused by these harmonics. Fourth one, explain UPFC that is unified power flow controller and discuss how it is more versatile than other fax devices. Fifth one, explain the significance of harmonics generation. Sixth one, explain the role of SVC and Statcam as source of reactive power. Seventh one, design AC and DC filters required for HVDC system. Eighth one, discuss the principle of operation and the VA characteristics of SVC. And the last one, discuss briefly about double and triple tuned filters. These are all considered as important question in Unit Four. Many of them. Consisting five, six, and seven mark. Unit five is power flow analysis in AC/DC systems. 
seven questions are considered as important first one what are the different possible effects and influences on nature and the environment regarding overhead transmission lines how are these minimized with the dc systems second one what are the different control schemes employed for vsc converters explain the vector control scheme and how active and reactive power can be controlled independently third one provide the state space analysis of typical hvdc system fourth one explain the power flow analysis of vsc based hvdc system fifth one provide the steps involved in the power flow analysis in ac dc system with a case study sixth one explain how the per unit system of dc quantities is included with the constraints last one explain the power flow analysis under dynamic conditions thank you all all the best for your exams